For any of you who were watching with us way back several weeks ago, on the day we call Shrove Tuesday for pancake supper and games that we had at Holy Nativity before the church season of Lent began, or maybe you were with us in church at Holy Nativity or another church on the Sunday before Lent when we put something away. Or maybe you heard about this from somebody else, or maybe you can even guess what we put away and what I have just found. Does any of you see what I have found? We're almost there. We have almost all of the letters. If you're still thinking about what this might be, I'll give you a hint. It is a super joyful, happy word. We put it away during Lent, which is our very quiet season of looking inside ourselves to see what inside there in our feelings we need to pay attention to. To see whether our feelings need some help or attention in order for us to be better and kinder people when we are with others. say it out loud with me. Alleluia! Wait a minute. I didn't quite hear that again. We all better just get together and say it again. One, two, three. Alleluia! Great job. Do any of you remember when we put the alleluias away? Well, look. Now they're back. I have a song to teach you, and it's a good one for bringing out the alleluias, and it goes like this. Allelu, allelu, everybody sing allelu, for the Lord has risen, it is true. Everybody sing allelu. Can you sing it with me? Allelu, allelu, everybody sing allelu, for the Lord has risen, it is true. Everybody sing allelu. In the Easter season, we bring back our Alleluias. This is the season where those of us in the church give thanks for the gift of Jesus, who gave everything he had to help us, even his life. During Lent, we in the church remember that everyone who loved Jesus and learned from him and were amazed by all that he could do, thought that he had died and gone away forever. On Easter, though, we give joyful thanks to learn that Jesus is alive and that while he was away, he healed all of us. So now we all can go about what we do in our lives, playing and learning and growing and being with our families, all of it, knowing we are whole and well and strong. During Lent and on Good Friday in church, we use dark colors, purple and black, to symbolize our sadness about the things that we have done poorly and remember how people thought Jesus had died. Easter, we use the color white, blazing white, and light and fire to symbolize new life for Jesus and for us. New chances to make every day be the best it can be for ourselves and those around us. Someday soon, we all will be able to be in Holy Nativity Chapel together for another time. For me, it is a very special place and I would like to show you some of the things there that we use to worship God. But I know, and I hope you know, that we don't have to be in church to pray to God or to learn about Jesus. We have lots of great stories. Your family might have some of these stories at home. Ask them if they do, or let them
let me know if you'd like to borrow some from me. I would be glad to help. Now let's finish our chapel time today with a prayer, and then we'll send you all off for your day of learning, doing your personal best at Holy Nativity School. Let us pray. Dear God, we thank you for this new day. We thank you for the season of Easter that symbolizes new life. We thank you for the loud, joyful alleluias and the bright shades of light that symbolize hope. We ask you to bless all of us in the Holy Nativity community today as we continue to teach and learn using our computers. We thank you for helping us get better and better at doing our work in this way, and we pray that you will help us get even better in the days to come. Help us do math, reading, art, music, science, and activities outside with super focus and high energy. Help our friends and help us to stay healthy and well. In your name we pray. Amen. Happy Easter, everybody. Have a wonderful day.